Good evening and welcome to the Paulin County Board of Commissioners March 25th, 2014 board meeting. Uh, I welcome all our invited guests and uh, try to see if there's any elected officials. We've had a ton of them here today, so thank you all for being here. I'll remind you to turn off all cell phones, nextels, and pagers as it does interrupt our production. Uh, we um, have for invocation, Pastor Benjamin Nelson. Okay, for the pledge and the presentation of colors, we have the presentation of colors by Venture Crew 73. Uh, so will you stand with me if you're able? Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this time to come together and uh, lead this county forward, Lord. Give us wisdom and discernment in all that we do. Thank you for your son, and thank you, and forgive us for all many sins. Holy in name we pray. Amen. Amen. Forward march. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Salute. Retreat. You may be seated. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Sorry. I don't want to get in the movie. Minutes, action on March 11, 2014, work session minutes, and March 11, 2014, board meeting minutes. So I hear motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Uh, today, when I was announcing all the good news, uh, I failed to make the announcement about Dinnerol's grand opening uh, that happened on March the 16th. It was a fabulous opening. Uh, uh, they had their Modex show in downtown Atlanta with a huge turnout, so I think we'll see a lot of success come out of Interroll and a lot of success come out of this Modex show. So. Uh, again, more great news for Palmer County today. Uh, I'll take this time to, we have a Boy Scout troop with us today, uh, Monia Smith, uh, tro Troop 321. You want to come to the lectern and introduce uh, your troop here tonight? Would y'all stand and recognize? We have four scouts here um, working on a requirement for the communication mayor badge. From left to right, we have Garrett Smith, Connor Smith, Colton Abernathy, and Tommy Hall. Thank you all for being here. No invited guests, uh, better awards. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> better awards number one, action to award the low bidder C.W. Matthews Contracting Company Incorporated. The Bill Groot Parkway Widening Reconstruction Phase 2 project in the amount of $12,321,165.81 to a your motion. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Carries 5-0. Number two, action to award the low bidder C.W. Matthews Contracting Company Incorporated uh, the 2014 Asphalt Contract 1 in the amount of $1,000,000. $836,731.71. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? 
All in favor say aye. 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 It carries aye. Number three, action toward the low bidder, C.W. Matthews Contracting Company Incorporated for fiscal year 2014 asphalt contract two in the amount of four million eight hundred fifty-eight thousand ten dollars and seventy-seven cents. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion and second by Mr. Pownell. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, there's no reports from committees and departments, no consent agenda. Uh, old business, no old business, under new business, number one, action to approve the May 1st, 2014 Employees Benefit Plan Renewal. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion to second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Carries 5-0. Number two, action to adopt resolution 14-09, converting executive session for purposes of litigation and personnel. Do I hear a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Okay. Motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, I believe we have one item uh, from uh, planning and zoning today. 2014-05 SUP application by Gregory Keith Moon for a special use permit on approximately 20 acres for two to three foot race events with approval with approved vendors per year. Society Zone A1 Agricultural District property is located in Land Lots 338 and 339, District 3, Section 3, south side of Harmony Grove Church Road, west of Moonlit Trail, and southeast of Dowds Bridge Road. 2317 Harmony Grove Church Road, this is in post four. <coughs> Recommendation for approval came 601 with 13 stipulations. Do I hear a motion? Make a motion to approve, but um, one thing that, well, a couple of things, that we had two to three races, um, put three races on that per year, and put back, um, also where the one year, you have to come back every year. You okay with that, Mr. Bunch? If, if, if I could, could I, could I get at least for three years, instead of having to go through everything every year? And if we fail, if we fail to do what we're supposed to, y'all can follow it any time. I believe there's a limitation. We leave the ordinance to a period of time, and one year would be appropriate. Okay, yeah. Um, use that's what we do on a special use permit. Yes. We go yearly on. So. That's fine. Thank okay. you. Okay. Make a motion with 13 plus the other two stipulations mm -hmm. of the three races, because in the in there it puts two to three races per year. So we're gonna put three races. That's stipulation number one. Oh, okay. Which is no more than three. Okay. But the one year. So <coughs> yeah. No one. Okay. okay. So one stipulation. I had one that did four things. Mr. Barnett, could I ask uh, date wise of the year? In other words, right now he's. Good till August. Right now he's good till August. I think do it again before the. Um, okay. August. So it's going from August to the next August. Yes. Okay. Is that. Yes, sir. I know amazing. you've all got one next month. Yeah, but we have one in April, and when we're trying to plan for there to have it in, uh, in uh, September. So it, with August, it throws us out, you know, just a little bit. You know what I mean? Right. So, so you're good with that? Yes, sir. We are. We're just doing the that works. days that we have now. Exactly. Yes, sir. Good. Okay. It works. Second his motion. Motion and second. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor say <coughs> aye. 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 Any opposed? Here's five of them. I have one more thing, not concerning planning zoning. Um, this morning we were talking about the IBA and the Airport Authority, the boards developing this. Um, I still kind of push this through, but we could, Robin Commissioners, we could have our appointees for these boards by April 15th. So I think we're going to vote in the first meeting of next month. We'll vote on it to, to draw it up. And then yeah, the 8th, but then by the 15th, we'll have our committee, our people who will be sitting on their, on their committees by the 15th. Is everybody good with that, having an appointment by April 15th? Dude, I know that's a bad day, that's tax day. Well, yeah, I'm good with that. We also, we were going to, we're going to send you some other things that we want to yes. add or take away. Yeah. One of the things we were talking, one, one of the things we did talk about was terms, and then so if we start a new, New board, 
you know, if we had half of them, let's say, that we're on a two-year term and the other half were started off on one? I didn't, honestly, I didn't envision it taking that long. Uh, that was not the intent of the steering committee. We can leave them in place as long as y'all choose to. Um, if we do the April 15th deadline for the appointments, y'all will adopt the, the time, the, um, the framework with whatever conditions y'all want to place on it or any comments that y'all want to provide. I'll add it to that, present it to you on the 8th, and then you can act, uh, task that steering committee with the schedule of how long it will take them to, um, to provide you whatever deliverable is you're looking for. Yeah, and I, I envisioned it as a committee to function not as a permanent committee, mm -hmm. but to uh, address our situations. Yeah, look at it from a uh, overall perspective and make recommendations back to us as to what they recommend. But ultimate changes that may be proposed are up to us to vote on those changes. In other words, it's not an ongoing committee. It's, you know, they may come back and say, this is, you know, you need an advisory committee or whatever, but the goal is for them to look at and get feedback into how to uh, look at they operate any suggestions they would have to change that to make it whatever. Part of it is I'm setting the date, so we wouldn't get this in place. Right. I just, I just know that we don't know how long we may need them. I'm not saying. So I didn't want us to, uh, I didn't want us all to appoint somebody and then us need them longer than what we think or we would like to have them longer than what we think. And then you got some people. Because if it was to be something that we kept for a while, it'd be nice to have a change half and half, and not a. If you had a board, if you had a board for a year and you need them for a year, it'd be nice not to have a new board, total new board in a year. I guess the committee yeah, starting over again. Right. I, I agree. Yeah. Uh, I, I think uh, maybe we we have um, uh, where it it can be separate. Well, are, are they, you appoint them for a, I mean, if you appoint them for a task, they're in they're in existence until the task is done. I mean, you're you're talking about making if there needs to be legislative changes, that their those recommendations are you in, to you in time or to us in time to uh, ask the delegation to make those changes. I mean, you're talking about to have something back to you finished by the end of the. Right. It's what I envision. So, I mean, yeah. there isn't yeah, any well, overlap in their schedule. I mean, it could potentially go way. beyond a year thinking through that. Um, if they do the task, and I agree with you, uh, Commissioner Graham, this is to me is a task oriented um, uh, group. And once the task is gone, their mission is over. Now, they may recommend something to go that lives beyond their, their life um, on, the, on, the, on the project. But, um, if you follow that through, if, they, if, if you give us names in, in, all, in April and they start their work and they provide you some recommendations that you can take to the General Assembly at the end of this year, the General Assembly acts on them next year, it could potentially be on the governor's desk until July 1st. So it could be longer than a year. Right. Okay. Let me just add, absent passing an ordinance, setting this up, they're going to maintain a lot of flexibility on how long it operates yeah. and who's on it. Whether or not there's changes that are going to be made. Everybody good? I think so. If I could get one more clarification. This committee, the steering committee, has eight members, and this body is responsible for five of those appointments. Um, do, do I have authorization to go forward to notify the mayors and the Chamber of Commerce to solicit their members as well? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, that's the conclusion of a regular business session. There's no executive session. Uh, we do have a citizen wishing to speak, uh, Ms. Kathy Johnson, uh, regarding the airport. Yes, ma'am. If you would. Uh, mm -hmm. Redesign this to include yes. just, just put your name in. Y'all know now. My name is Kathy Johnson. I've been a resident of Baldwin County for over 50 years, and I would, before, I would say I'd never live anywhere else. I love this place. However, just like everyone else is speaking about the jet issues and the fuel and, and things, we got um, we we have actually over 800 names that want 
to have a vote added to the ballot to let the residents of Holland County decide about this expansion. It's, um, it's fair. You know, like I said, we've got the numbers. It's fair. And we've got a lot of information now on, you know, on, on the jet fuel. We, we talked to a pilot who actually told us that, um, that, that they always dump the fuel. Always. He said he never once wrote, he drove um, with, or piloted a Black Hawk without nothing. And just like when, what worries me is the kids playing in their little pools, you know, usually they, you got a choice, you know, you only got one choice, they drink the water that they feed in. But the, in this case, now we're going to have the water that's toxic or water, the, the other kind. So now we're in a real bind. Um, what really got me, um, was to find out that Pool Elementary actually does mock plane crash exercises or drills. And as y'all, I'm in, I'm 40 ish, you know, but I never I had tornado drills. Um, I had I had fire drills. We never ever have had a plane mock plane crash drill. My daughter went there for five years. Never. Nobody. No time have I ever heard of them doing this. Um, we assume that, that um, right now in the, um, we have 278 can cases of cancer. Obviously, I'm not blaming this on, on all of this stuff. I'm not doing that. But with the fuel issue, we believe that n number can double or even triple, you know, in this case. Um, Poole and Ragsdale are really close. And if my daughter was the first one to um, go to Poole when it was built, she was in the first class. And if I would have known that they would do this or do mock plane exercises or wrecks or accidents like that, I would have never put her in that. I don't know that I would have lived here. And I love it here again. Once again, I love this county. Um, let's see what else. Um, yeah, their uh, kids' health and safety obviously you should come first. But I, can't, I just come to you to ask you to be fair and add the vote to, um, to give us the op us as, as residents and voters um, the opportunity to be able to vote on this expansion. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Mr. Carmichael, you're a pilot. Uh, I'll ask you to address the fuel, fuel issue. If you don't mind speaking to that. Carrie Tidmore, uh, who flies a 777 for FedEx, has already addressed this at one of our meetings. But the uh, only time fuel would ever be uh, dumped from an airplane is if there's an emergency situation and the airplane has to get light enough in order to uh, return to the, the airfield in an expedient manner and land. But uh, you know, Fuel is a precious commodity. Uh, airplanes don't just dump fuel out. And it, it has never happened around Pauling County, and I don't ever anticipate it, that it would happen in the future unless there's some emergency um, and the airplane has to get lighter. Mr. Tidmore tells me uh, that there is no mechanism <coughs> on a 737 or smaller to dump. Okay, um, then my, uh, that my other concern then is obviously just what I just said about pulling rags out being so close and doing these mock ex exercises. That tells, me, that tells me that there's concern that this, these plane crashes could happen, and that scares me. No, ma'am, it's not, it, it, it is not uh, related to that. It, it just happens to be a mock-up for that, but uh, emergency management uh, has to do a mock-up uh, exercise uh, every year. And so uh, they want to be prepared. This is part of the training they go through to bring all the entities <coughs> together. But uh, trust me, it is not in anticipation and hope that it never happens. Well, but obviously, because I live close as well. Right, yes, ma'am. But in, in the event that we were to have something, they, they do mock exercises of every nature you could think of. But uh, that's just one because they bring in uh, uh, amateur radio folks and bring in all the emergency and, and they do a train. Well, then my only, the only thing I'd have to say is just, again, we have over 800 people that just want that. We don't know. We didn't ask. Are you for or against? Our question was, 
would you vote on this, or are you interested in this vote being on the ballot? And and we have we have every we have over 800 names now. Like I said, that want at least out of fairness want to be able to vote ourselves. We vote you know we vote every year, you know, or every few years, whatever. But we vote and we, we count. You know, we count as yes, something. Okay. Thank you very much. You. Uh, that's going to conclude. I just want to thank Ms. Johnson. Whether, you, whether you're a citizen that comes up here to support something or not support something, it takes, it takes a lot for a citizen to come up and speak. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay? And, and I know that. It's not, sometimes it's tough standing there. And so I'd like to thank you for your time to come up here. And I've heard you. And I completely understand. And I think that's something that would be great for us to do. That's my view. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but I, I, I applaud you for coming to speak. You guys, thank you so much. That's the conclusion of regular session, no executive session. Uh, do I hear a motion to adjourn? <laughs> motion to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. We're adjourned.